Welcome to Adventures in Chrome. My name is John Oliphant from the Practical Chrome Podcast. And this is just going to be a small video about how to use your Chromebook to do web development. Now, did you know we could, we could do web development right? and, and with a Chromebook, right? And not only that, but with some of the tools that you already have. We only need to get one. We're going to reach out there. We're going to grab that. Let's go ahead and dive in really quickly. So here we go. This, of course, is going to be where we're going to go first. And that is, and I'm going to have a link at all this stuff in the YouTube video, but basically what we're doing is we're, today, the Google Chrome developers released a boilerplate for getting started with web development. And if you can see here, when you look at the page, they talk about the fact that you're going to be able to build something that will scale depending on the screen size that you're working with, right? So if we go over here, first of all, they're going to, they're going to go over some web fun fundamentals. They're going to go over a number of different things. And there's a great, lot of great documentation here going through, if you want to become a web developer, this is one of the places where we're going to start. Now, they also give you this web starter kit. And this is download, and if you look at it, it's going to be a zip file. That might be scary, of course, on a Chromebook, but no need. We're going to go ahead and download it. We're going to pull this down. Of course, I'm on my Chromebook, so I'm going to go to the files area when I go to need to open this. But first, I want to talk about one thing really quickly, and that is how we're going to edit an HTML, CSS, or JavaScript file. Now we do have to have a certain type of editor to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull down Shift Edit. Now here I am on the Chrome Web Store. Now I've already downloaded it and when you first launch it it does ask for some permissions so we're going to have to do that first. But go ahead and grab this tool first and then we'll get to, then you get started, right? So then head back over. I've again downloaded this and we're going to go ahead and open the Files app. I think I've already got it open there. There it is. And you can see I've actually downloaded it a couple times. But what we're going to do is we're going to have to move this on to Drive, right? So on my Chromebook, of course, right now I'm online. And I can double click this. And this will actually open up the file. And I can kind of dig around here. What I want you to grab is the app folder. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. Head over to Google Drive. Now don't mind all my stuff here. But then we're going to paste this. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I don't want to paste in a folder. Let's see if I can right click up here. Oops. We'll right click, we'll right click right here. Paste. There it is. So I'm going to paste this directly onto my drive, and it's going to go ahead and upload this really quickly. It's a bunch of very small icon, uh, small information, so we're going to paste it up there. Now we're going to head back over to um, my drive, right? So again, remember to get the shift edit. We're going to go over to my drive, though. And now I've got this app folder. Now, you may be thinking, well, no, I, I'm not building a web page. Or if I am, I'm just going to be in my app folder. But if we make this app folder public, so I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to share. And then I'm going to go to share again. And I'm going to set this to the scary one, right? And the scary one is public on the web. Anyone on the internet can find and access. No signing required. I'm going to save that. There you go. Now I'm done. Now, now comes the tricky part. So when we go into this, now we're going to edit one of our files. And that is going to be the index.html. So if I click that, right now it's going to open it up in the Google Drive viewer pane, the previewer pane, right? Now we don't want to open it with Google Docs. That would actually get in the way and harm the file. We want to click open. And it, now it's going to give it to us in this viewer where we can actually hit the preview button. There's a preview button, a download button. This kind of lets us look at the file again without editing it because it's not a doc. It's a, it's a HTML file. So again, if you when you get into coding, there's going to be this type of files, so, and that's why we want to use the, the shift edit um, tool. So if I hit preview right now, this is where we find the good stuff. Believe it or not, this is the website. This is actually launched off of my Google Drive. And you can actually like, you know, click things, go move around inside the web pages, move around, you know, travel within here and look at the style guide, things like that, and you're still within a little website. So it's a little static website, but it's pretty pretty cool, huh? I like it. So let's now go in and edit one, right? So remember that index, we're gonna go back there real quick. And I'm gonna file and I'm gonna open with. And I'm gonna select now I've actually got a couple different editors, but I'm gonna use shift edit. Now again, when you first do this, you might have to enable some permissions. So you're going to want to do that. But 
first things first, it's going to pop up and it's going to give us this really cool editor. It highlights the text for us. Once you really get into editing um, this type of file, you'll, you'll, you'll really be appreciative of all these different color codings. But right now, I want to show you how before, before here, and by the way, you can share this with anyone. You can say, here's a link to this really cool uh, website I'm building. And remember, this is all client side. So I'm throwing a lot at you, but client side basically means that everything's going to run in the browser. Nothing is happening on the server level. These are flat files. Once they reach the client or your computer from the server, then they're being, you know, they work dynamically. They work like little applications. So here, right here, it says get started, right? And if we go back really quickly, it says it's get started. If we go back into here, now I went down here and I could have hit control F and I could have looked for get started, but I'm just going to really quickly, I knew where it was, I'm going to go ahead and pop in there, and I'm just going to and, oops, come on, get the caps lock on. Well, that's okay. <laughs> okay, and smarter, let's just be another indication that we got it right. So I'm going to hit save. Alright, so we've hit save. And now if I go back up here, and I hit the refresh just like you would on any other web page. Look at that. Get started and smarter. Right? Isn't that pretty cool? Not bad, huh? So again, can you develop on a Chromebook? Yes, you can. Can you develop with some of the basic tools that come with a Chromebook? Yep. You've got Drive. All you have to do is make a folder public, put an HTML file in there, and then hit Preview when you go to look at it. Again, just edit it with one of the editors that's available out there on the Chrome Web Store. Again, we used Shift Edit, a great little program. Definitely check that out, and you can have your own website ready to go and, and use all the different techniques, CSS, JavaScript. Have a lot of fun with it, right? I'm scrolling through. You can see all the different thing lists. They show you how to do a lot of great stuff. And this, is, of course, does become also applications as well. So it's pretty, pretty neat stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. I do want to mention... Uh, snag it from TechSmith. That's what I'm using right now too. So if you want to make your own video and get it all done, make it look <laughs> make it look pretty. Check out Snag Snag it. Um, and also, let me see if I can show you really quickly. So let's Snag it, and that's pretty much it. So good deal. Thanks guys for being here, and of course uh, remember to keep on checking out Adventures in Chrome by Practical Chrome. <laughs> see you later.